Welcome back, and we have Rosa Antonelli. Did I do it right? Yes, perfect. Thank you. Now, she is a concert pianist. When did it all start? When did you first see a piano? Um, when I was uh, three and a half years old. Three and a half? Yes. And that was it? That was it. You have a doctorate in music. Yes, I am, I am a doctor in music. What university? In Buenos Aires, um, Argentina. And um, I also, I am a superior professor of piano from the National Conservatory of Music in Buenos You're Aires. You're a professor? Yes. Do you go, by, do you go down there and profess? I did all over the world. I gave uh, seminars and um, about technique and interpretation oh, really? all over Very the nice. world. Yes. After my performance. What makes a good pianist? A good pianist mm, is a very important question. I, for me personally, I think is um, musicians in general. We should talk uh, from our heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. You gotta have a good ear. I have a tin pan ear. I can't. To me, uh, but you have to have a good sense of music. Oh too. yes, yes. My my mother was an opera singer, and I grew up with uh, listening to my mother singing mm -hmm. the operas, and and I was in that kind of uh, family. We love music. I could imagine. Mm -hmm. When did you come to the United States? I came in. Um, 1998, and I started coming yeah. more often. Uh -huh. uh, but I just uh, live in the United States since 2000. 2000. Mm -hmm. So you're not resident here now? When I was, um, first I got the green card as an extraordinary mm -hmm. artist. Mm -hmm. This is why uh, I decided to come. And then in 2006, they gave me the um, citizenship as in the Did same. Did you take the test? Yes. How many states are in the United States? Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that you got to know all of that. All right, so you took the exam and you became a citizen yes. in 2000. In six? 2006. In six. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you. You can stay for a while now? <laughs> yes. All right. No, that's, that's, the, that's the fun of it. All right. So now what do you do in the United States? Do you go around and do concerts or what? Yes, I uh, perform um, in New York mostly. Where? Um, I perform at Lincoln Center. I perform at Cammie Hall. Um, Is Cammie Hall there anymore? Or did they tear it down? Oh, yes. They it's still there. Some building they tore down on 57th, I didn't realize. Yes. At uh, Steinway Hall, Steinway. I performed, because I'm a Steinway artist. Oh, did they fall? How did you get that? Oh, that's a, a big honor. They, you bet. Did you go and rehearse? How did, you, did you inquire? Or did they see you and want you to come? Yes, exactly. They see you, and if you have um, um, you have um, a talent. A, a talent, and you have a lot of experience and concerts mm -hmm. and well received all over the world, they invite you to become part of the roster of Steinway artists, which is, is a big honor. It's, oh, it's a huge honor. I filmed that. I, I know all about it. It's quite yeah. a place. Do you play uh, Do you play concerts there at the Steinway Hall Yes, sometimes? I did many, many times. Mm -hmm. And then um, they were always very nice to me. Mm -hmm. I, when I came to New York, I didn't have any family, any anybody here. So they took care. And they, yes, they they were like my mentor. Mm -hmm. Like uh, now, tell me, do you like Steinway pianos? I love it. Okay. I just want to make sure. <laughs> do you live with Steinway at home? <laughs> yes. You do. Yes, yes. Now they tell me that they sent a piano to you in uh, in your country. Originally. Yes, because. Um, Everybody knows about Vladimir, Vladimir Horowitz. Yes. And then um, he was so famous, but his piano was famous as he was because he traveled he with his, He loved it, yes. Yeah, and he traveled with his own piano all over the world. That's not cheap. Oh. Okay, and? And then when he died, um, his wife, Wanda, 
decided to offer this piano to a selected group of uh, um, Steinway artists mm -hmm. in different places of the world. Mm -hmm. And I had another honor because I was chosen and in that time I was living in Buenos Aires. And they, and they shipped it to you in Buenos yes. Aires? Really? Yes. They come on a big crate? How would it look like when it arrived? No, it was very, very uh, well Pelled. packed, yeah. yes, and then, uh, but I was so nervous. I, I went to the theater when they opened the box. Oh, the, oh they did it in the theater? Yes, oh. the one part, no, the, 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 the let's say the, the, the closest part to the piano, and it was, for me, I said, oh my God, I'm going to play the, the piano that he was playing because I admire him mm. so much. And so the piano is still there? It, no, uh, the, the piano was traveling different to different countries for pianists. Yeah. You know, and then it returned to, to her after many Oh, years. she only loaned it to you? Yes. Oh, I thought you were in possession. <laughs> oh, no. oh. But when they, when they bring the piano in, don't they have to tune it before oh, you yes. play? Oh, you yes. To make yes, sure it's done yes. correctly. Yes, once they uh, put it there, then they, I had my piano tuner, mm. he took care of the piano. He did the whole nine yards yeah. for you. Yes. Wow. And it was a special sound, it was beautiful. beautiful. Better than any other Steinway? It was a special, no? Because did he put some things in there to make it sound different? I think it, because he, he had like, um, the piano has a special device where you could um, switch when you play um, fast pieces, like they knew oh, you need, you need the, the keyboard to be uh, lighter, ah. but it was a special uh, made for him. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. And this is why he traveled with his own piano. How much is a full Steinway piano today? If you went over there on 57th Street and bought a piano, uh -huh. how much? Between, let's say, 36,000 and yeah. 100,000. But they have many... It's extra to put the letters on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they have many deals and... No, I know. Um, they they, they yeah. do packages. But they, hmm. Now, what happened at Barnes & Noble? Oh, Barnes & Noble, um, last uh, November, mm -hmm. um, actually was the day of um, St. Cecilia, the saint of the music, mm -hmm. and November 22nd. Mm -hmm. And I... Um, was going to do the release of my latest CD, Esperanza, Sounds of Hope. Mm -hmm. And they had this big poster outside in the windows. Yeah. Uh, you moved your piano there? No. No? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, Steinway sent the piano. Oh, they did oh, send it? Oh, yeah, they okay. Send the, I chose the piano. Yeah. Actually, I chose the same piano when I did the release of my other CD, uh, Romantics Forever, mm -hmm. the, the, the year before. Yeah. And I didn't know, I chose the same one one year later. I knew it because of the number, the serial number. Oh, I thought, I thought when you chose the piano, you went down into the, the where they have them and you go play on yes. them. Yes. And, and choose. Yes. And, this, and you found your same one that you had yes, the year before. Yes, when, when I fill the papers, which one I like, they say, Rosa, it's the it's same here. like last it's year. <laughs> God, they have pianos all over the world. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So and Barnes and Noble, you played. And then I was going to play um, uh, selections of that uh, album, yeah. Esperanza, Sounds of Hope. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, I, as I was mentioning to you, they have this poster, and I received um, a letter. Yeah. Three days after that concert. It was from a, an opera singer that she was going to give up her career, but that at that time she was having a very dark... Yeah, they go through uh, the stages, yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she said that she saw this poster, Sounds of Hope. Oh, really? Gave her an And she felt that she should go. Mm.